I was young, there was hardly any, any curvers here. It was taken away from us. You feel nervous in ways, but uh, I guess a sign of relief. You know, one of the, the masterpieces coming home and staying home where it belongs. On February the 13th, there was a large number of uh, New Halt people and onlookers who were gathered outside the Provincial Museum in Victoria. To witness the, the beginnings of the repatriation of the pole that had belonged to the New Halt people, to the New Halt people themselves. When the pole made its first appearance, when it was winched out of the window, when I thought about it, that was the first breath of fresh air, the first rays of daylight that it had felt in over a century. That's when I saw uh, a mix of excitement and adulation, but also real seriousness. Like you hadn't seen somebody that you either hadn't seen in a long time, or you've seen somebody that maybe you thought was gone, disappeared. But it comes from a long, long time ago, you know, and it's built with uh, hands that, that had no, they had no um, damage to it, you know, and it was created with love and, you know, and I think what comes with that pole is, is gonna be healing spirits, you know, and it's something that we need, not only in our nation, but all nations. Yeah. Well, the emotions are kicking in. I could feel that spirit, and uh, it's, it's starting to kick in, and uh, I just don't know how to put it right now, but my grandfather going home, The pole was carved by the ancestor of Chief Derek Snow of the New Hulk. And it was carved in the 1880s. And when you think about it, that pole was carved before colonization. And the man who carved it was also born before colonization. He was born in a time when there was no English and there was no non-Indigenous people around yet, or there were very few. The thinking, the craft itself, the world view would have been all New Hulk, just New Hulk. It's a type of pole called a stream. That's in their, their New Hulk language, a stream. And a stream is a grave marker. It's something that had marked the grave of one of, one of Chief Snow's ancestors when it was taken. For something like that to be stolen, within the context of New Hulk culture, New Hulk people would have per perceived that as a, a big taboo, a big cultural no-no, because it's so sacred. It also has to do with the dead. They say that um, death is a living thing. Death uh, perceives, it senses, it reasons, and it understands, and you don't mock it. My sense of it is if, you know, a New Hulk person especially, but if any other Indigenous person walked in a museum and saw their ancient pole, 
you know, it's like seeing uh, something so proud caged, jailed, incarcerated, imprisoned in a zoo. It doesn't align, it doesn't belong. That's not where it should be. Every item that they have in the, in the museums, uh, they have a purpose. And their purpose was for our people. So we understand who we are as a people. And most of us have lost that, like our language, our songs, and our dances. During my time wasn't very nice, but uh, we weren't even allowed to uh, speak our language or do these carvings, but it was it was kept secret, right? So, but uh, it's making a big comeback now, and uh, we're not going to lose it. By bringing back uh, my great grandfather's totem pole, it means a lot to us. And, and I think uh, the rest of the world um, want to hear and listen to our people. And I think this is just a start. It left the museum. It was blessed. They wrapped it again and uh, got it ready for transport from Victoria all the way back to its home in New Hawk Lands in Bella Coola. What did you feel in your heart knowing that, that it was, it was here, it was finally home? It arrived and it's, it's here now. We wanted to dance, celebrate, yell. The joy of like knowing that, yeah, he's, he's home. And when the wrap came off and it was exposed, I thought, you know, this is its first smell, taste, and sense of home in a century. This is its home. When I think about it, it's from a time that's gone now. The people associated with that time, that generation, that worldview that was uh, uninfluenced yet by non-Indigenous people, that's the time that it came from. It's a holdover from another time. Today is just giving me a lot of hope and a lot of, sorry, a lot of love in my heart to be able to witness this and witness my family do something so historic, something that a lot of First Nations people are trying to do, trying to bring back trying to bring back our, our culture. They've got the ultimate teaching tool for something of theirs that ancient, like to see it, to touch it, to feel it. It's, it's there in the community. To me, we were second people for so long and seeing it's, we're coming out of it. Uh, the young children will, will see it, you know, and understand what it's all about. I'm happy that we can put the totem pole right here in this, in this school. Our family had decided that um, for a, a big purpose, um, this is where the children are. This is the um, this is the prime place that 
they will be able to see it and history can be carried on for tomorrow. It's there and it's theirs. And it's theirs to do with what they choose. The plan is, um, I understand, for it to sit at the school for a year. And then it's going to be moved to the, their old village site. And it will be left to the elements to die a natural death. I understand the pole is not being treated with anything, that it's going to remain in its natural state. Yes. Even when it's out in the elements. Yes. Is that a tradition? Yes. And it returns back to its natural state. In a very large sense, you know, what they've done is they've brought it home to die. Until that time, and during the year before, you can bet the new Hulk will fill its life, what's left of its life, with life. And it's not gonna be a sad thing when it's gone. It'll be with all of its other ancestor carvings that are gone now. And of course, with the man who made it. <laughs>